Building a Power BI report that looks great and is functional is not too difficult to do with just Power BI. We're not going to use Photoshop, Figma, Canva, or any other tool other than Power BI and just one shape we create in PowerPoint. And with that, let's go ahead and start this tutorial where we learn how to design this report in Power BI. The first thing that we need to do is adjust our canvas size. By going to Format, Canvas Settings, selecting Custom, we can now adjust our canvas size. So we are going to do 1200 by 1980. Once we've done that, we are going to select a theme. So going to view and then choosing this theme, we now have uh, the theme that was used in this report. So the next thing that we're going to do is create a background. It's very easy to do and we're just going to do this once. So by going to insert then shape, selecting rectangle, we can now add a gradient to our shape. So we're going to select gradient, more gradients, and then gradient fill. And then from here, we're going to select these colors. So you can see them on the screen, just replicate the colors that I am showing here for each of the three points. So these are the colors that I'm using to get this gradient effect. So this is that light to dark effect. Just copy the colors against three of the points that we have. And if you just copy the RGB colors, you will get this exact color that I have in the report. And once you've got your gradient effect, we want to save the picture as we want to give this a background name and save it. That way we can now load this image into Power BI. So we're now going to apply our background. By going to format, canvas background, we can now bring that into our report. So by selecting our background, setting the transparency to zero, and then we might have to adjust the um, a fit. So in this case, I used fill. We now have our background for this report. So let's go ahead and add our headers and our filter panels. So we are going to insert a shape. This is going to be a standard rectangle shape, change the style to white, and then we're going to turn off the border. And then by placing this at the top, here are the, uh, the dimensions. So this is where it was placed in the report. By writing this and then adjusting that to the top right hand corner, we have our header area. So this is where we're going to write our title. The next thing that I'm going to do is insert copy this and then bring this to the left, make it smaller so that it fits in the gap. And I'm going to make this orange. So this is going to be for a logo or yeah, this is for a logo essentially. And once again, I'm going to copy this shape and I'm going to bring that to the left and create our page navigation. So this is an area for our page navigation. So I'm going to once again, change the style, select the color, and if you copy the color code that I uh, use there, you will now have your uh, page navigation area and your title area. So we're now going to create our title. So by selecting insert text box, we can write our text that we want for the title of this page. And the text font that I use is Sego UI Lite. We are going to set this to 28. I'm going to make that bold. And then if we start writing our text, we can now add our header. So I'm going to call this human resources uh, report. And then for the next part, I'm going to call this the overview tab. And then we can make the overview bold just to make it pop out slightly. Now we're going to create our background elements for our visuals. So by inserting another rectangle, so by going to insert shape and rectangle, let me just make this slightly smaller. We're going to change this to white. So let's change the fill to white and set the transparency to 89%. And then by turning off the border, we have our background element. So let me just turn off the border. So you'll create that shape and then place them where you want. So I've placed three of these at the top. Now I can make these pop out a little bit more because I'm going to put some high level numbers here. So by using the rounded rectangle, we can make this smaller and place this into the top of that shape. And if I make that thinner, we can populate the top of it and I can put whatever color I want here. So I'm going to use some matte colors that I thought look quite nice. So I'm just going to place that there. And then I need to turn off the border once again. I keep forgetting to turn off the border. If we turn that off, it, it fits perfectly in there. So by copying that now, I can copy that across my free visuals. So I'm now going to create a text box for our cards. So these are going to be free floating text. So I'm going to use the font Sego UI Lite once again. I'm going to set the font to 14 and then choose the color. We're going to go to an off shade of a white. And then what we need to do is capitalize our letters and put a space between each um, letter. And then for a new word, we're going to put a double space. 
This make this looks quite nice in my opinion. So it's a space between each letter, and we're going to capitalize each uh, each letter as well. So I'm going to just place that in the middle. We've created it once, so I'm just going to copy that over three times. So if I bring this over into the other one, I'll speed up this part. But essentially, we're just going to duplicate this three, uh, two more times for different metrics that we might want to show. So I'm now going to create my card visuals. So by selecting card, these are going to be our high level metrics. We're going to turn off the category label because we've already done that as free floating text and set the call out value to Sego UI light once again. Oh, I'm sorry, din light. And then we're going to set this to 40, make it bold and then set the color to white. And if I replicate this three times, I'm going to copy over the visual and then place different calculations inside this for our different metrics. Now let's copy our background that we've already created of our cards. So let's bring this down and then adjust the size. So what I'm going to do is actually turn on the border as well. So this is the size that I'm going to use. And what I'm going to do is go to shape, style, and then turn on the border. And then for the border color, we're going to make this a gray. So this is the gray that I use. Now from here, we have a shape for our visual. Let's go ahead and add a title. So we're going to do a text box once again. The font will be very similar to what we had before. We're going to use Sega UI Light. I can't pronounce Sega, Sega, however you pronounce it. I'm going to set that to 14 and then set the color to the first gray. Now, once again, with our text, we are going to put a space between each letter. And then for a new word, we're going to put two spaces. And then if we just give it the header name, uh, whatever you want to call it, that's how you create your header. We can create our subheader by copying that text and making it sm slightly smaller. So I'm just going to make that font uh, 12. And then we're going to make this a little bit of a darker gray to the first one that we had. And then you can call this whatever you want. So in my case, I like to do the overall what it's doing. So my main header is uh, account of employees. Then I'm going to do by satisfaction. So it's very clear we've split the two and that's what the structure that I followed in this report. So I'm now going to create my first visual. So what we're going to do with the formatting is turn the title off. We're going to select our grid lines and change this to dotted. The color of our visual that I use is white. So we're going to change the colors to white. And then if we go to data labels, turn that on, set our, um, to our data labels to the inside. And then for our values, what we're going to do is make this darker so it's visible. So we're going to use the off shade of black. I don't like using black, it's quite harsh. So we're going to go to the font as 11. And then once again, for our X axis, let's make that slightly bigger to 10. Set that to off shade of white. And then for our Y axis, we're going to do the same thing. So set this to 11. Uh, we're going to make that white once again. And we have our first visual. So we can place this inside the card that we created. So if I just make this slightly bigger, we have our first visual. So I've gone ahead and recreated that visual just by copying it, but I'm just going to play around where I place it. So you can see that what I'm going to do is just think about where I might want to place this visual. So you don't have to rigidly follow the structure that I'm showing in this report, but I tried it putting it here, making this visual wider, but I didn't really like the way that looked. I thought it was a little bit boxy. So I went ahead and moved that back. So I went ahead and placed that visual back to what I thought was right. So now I'm going to create a table. So let me just copy the background over, make this a background wider. I know I want another visual, so I'm going to leave some space on the right. And then now I'm going to create my table. So let me just bring in a few columns and then I'll show you how to make a table look nice, which is one of the hardest things in Power BI. So the first thing we're going to do is go to formatting, style presets, and then set this to none. Then from there, we are going to go to grid and turn off the horizontal and vertical grid lines. And then for our roll padding, we're going to set this to six. And then if we go to values, and then if we make our text color white, so this is our first row, then our alternate color, we're going to set this to a off shade of gray. So we have that distinction between our separate rows. Then I'll make my font 10. And then if I go to my totals, I don't want them on for this table. So I've turned that off. And then for our column headers, we're going to use Segoi UI Lite. Then I'm going to adjust this to 10. And then I set the column header to white and then the background color of our header as an off shade of gray. 
And immediately we can see our table looks much better than when we started off with. It fits with the design and I think it looks quite nice. Now what we're going to do is center that. So by selecting specific column, we can uh, apply only to header and then set the uh, alignment to center. So if I say apply to header, so for my calculations, I actually want the values to be centered as well. So I'm going to apply to header and our values. And we can see that our, for our numbers, it's in the center and then for our text, it's on the left. And that's what I like to tend to do. And then similarly with our column headers, I'm going to do capitals and then spaces between each letters. And for our table now, I'm going to adjust the column header width. So by going between our columns, we can utilize the space of the background. So let me just make these wider so that um, it fits into the background nicely. So depending on what columns you're using, you might have to adjust this slightly differently. So at this point, I'm not going to go over how I created the other visuals. It follows the same principles as what we've done already so far by copying the background, uh, creating uh, column uh, titles for the background. We're going to use the same text that we use, so Sego UI. And then for our grid elements, we're going to use dotted lines and we're going to set these to white, etc. So following the previous principles, if you're getting stuck with how to create these, you can rewind and watch the sort of formatting that I've done and then you'll be able to recreate these visuals. But the, the, the aim of this video is to show you how to get the design, but it's worth getting your own data and trying to mock something together based on what I've shown you. You don't have to follow this exact structure, but hopefully there's elements of how I've formatted things that you can utilize in your own report. So hopefully this video was useful. And if it was, I would appreciate a like and subscribe. I'm going to be releasing a lot more videos to do with Power BI and just general analytics. So without further ado, it's the Power BI 